Hi, this is Ali Arango of Little Guy CGI, and today I would like to tell you my thoughts on the Samsung Odyssey Mixed Reality Headset. VR. Virtual Reality. I've been waiting for a virtual reality to get here since I was a kid. We've now had the Oculus, the HTC Vive, the PlayStation VR, We've had the Samsung Gear, the uh, Google Cardboard, and now we have Windows Mixed Reality headsets. Now, finally, with the Samsung Odyssey Mixed Reality headset, I feel that VR is here. And uh, today I would like to explain to you why I think that is, especially in regards to doing with the digital artist. So you're seeing a brief glimpse there of the Samsung Odyssey headset. And uh, now we are in my VR space right here. One of the things that the Samsung VR headset has, the Odyssey, is the resolution. The other mixed reality headsets have a resolution of 1440 by 1440. The Oculus, as well as the HTC Vive, have resolutions uh, that are 1080 by 1200. The Samsung Odyssey VR headset has a resolution of 1440 by 1600. I have tried all of the other headsets with the exception of the HTC Vive, and I definitely notice a difference while using the Samsung Odyssey Mixed Reality headset. Why I currently have the Samsung Odyssey Mixed Reality Headset. Previously, I had the Dell Mixed Reality Headset. And while that was noticeably clearer than the other VR headsets, the Samsung one has a clarity to it that it's, it feels like the headset is easier on the eyes. As far as regards to the digital artist, before I start work, I like to go to artstation.com see what is uh, trending. And I like to draw inspiration for that for my day. Uh, for me, being surrounded by digital art, that's a comforting thought. With VR, you actually are surrounded by digital art. It is extremely enjoyable to be able to put up screens wherever I want them to be. I can put up as many web pages that have ArtStation on them, where I have a particular artist, where I'm looking at that artist's work and you know, being inspired, hopefully, by that work, I can put them up anywhere. I can put up, as I'm working, as many reference images as I need. I can have them be what appears to me to be a, a 10 to 15 foot wall, or we could be, a, you know, three foot square wall. I can take these images and put them wherever I want to put them. Uh, this is just nice in many ways as far as working with digital art. You are dealing with flat screens most of the time, from my experience so far in this early stages of dealing with Windows Mixed Reality. However, you are not just limited to uh, flat screens because of platforms such as Sketchfab. With Sketchfab, typically, if I'm working on a project, sometimes I would go to Sketchfab, I would look through Sketchfab and uh, try to be inspired from that work, sometimes try to learn how textures are put on. Sketchfab is a place where uh, artists can put up 3D art and then that art can be turned and viewed and looked at uh, from any angle. With the Windows Mixed Reality headset, what you can actually do with Sketch Sketchfab is you can actually, you know, do just like you did before as, as far as going to Sketchfab and turn it to work. However, you can click and go into VR mode. Once you go into VR mode, you have the model right in front of you. It's interesting. Uh, with the mixed reality headset, you can basically have an area set up around you where you can stand up and move around. So it's not just you turning your, your head if you do the, uh, the room setup. Basically what you can see on the screen is I'm moving around the model. I'm looking at the back of the model. If you wanted to, if you are a 3D artist and you want to look at textures and look at a model, yes, you can get a good idea of it and a very similar idea looking at it on a screen. However, the ability to actually 
stand next to that model, move around that model, lean forward into that model and see the different details is incredible. And this is one of the things that Windows Mixed Reality allows you to do. One of the things you might be interested in is, you know, can you actually work in VR? Basically what you see on the screen right now is the program that I'm currently working in is Blender. It is the main uh, design program that I use. It's a 3D modeling and animation program. So basically what I'm doing is I am putting a quick walk cycle on this character in animation mode for Blender. When you see the camera move to the right, what I'm doing is in Windows Mixed Reality, you have full access to your mouse as well as your keyboard. You also have full access to your desktop. So since you have this in VR, you can do whatever work you want to do, such as I'm doing here. So what that window is there is I have older smartphone set up. It was a, a Note 3. I have the camera aimed towards my keyboard in the real world. I'm using a program called IP Cam, and I'm basically beaming that video into VR. So I'm beaming it to a website. So the way it works is with your desktop, you can only have one window as far as I know with your desktop. However, as far as web pages, as far as I know, you can have as many web pages as you want. So if you are nervous about having a headset on and you want to have a view to the outside world, particularly something that's extremely useful, like right here where I am uh, actually using the keyboard, you can have that. So I have that camera up there. That camera is, it's enough so that as I move my hands, I can see which keys I'm pressing. And it's funny because the more you use the uh, the camera and the keyboard, like most other things, you you're, you start to get faster and faster. So the reason why I, I put this in this video is I wanted to show you, you could actually do work inside of VR like I am doing right now. That's a, a time lapse of me working through. I had done, before I did this video, a minimum amount of practice. And the reason why I'm saying that is I just want you to know that it wasn't like I practiced this over and over again. This pretty much, I believe, was my second time really trying to do a, a walk cycle inside of VR. I also wanted to, to let you see what I didn't think other people were mentioning. One of the things that's amazing about the uh, Windows Mixed Reality and why I say VR is here now, when I thought of VR, it wasn't so much of thinking of it like an amusement park. That's what I think that people get. And, I, and don't get me wrong, I appreciate that. As far as the HTC Vive, as far as the Oculus, you want an amusement park road, it's an amusement park ride. It's kind of like getting on a roller coaster. You want it to be exciting, you know, and that's cool. I respect that and I like that as well. However, when it comes to a roller coaster, you go to the park, you get off, you go on the roller coaster, and then you get off, you know, you come home. That's what it felt like with my experiences with VR so so far. Windows Mixed Reality feels like a place to me. And what I mean when I say that is I put on the headset and then I'm in this house that, that uh, Microsoft has made uh, for the users, right? In this house, I work, I can... Uh, you know, have my different forms of entertainment, but I'm in this house and it's funny because I launch into VR experiences from this house and then I come back to the house. Okay, what you see on the screen now is uh, a program that I use called GIMP. GIMP is basically an open source version of Photoshop. And again, I just wanted to show people something that I don't didn't think that I had, uh, I didn't see anybody uh, uh, do yet. And that was actually working inside of VR with the Samsung Odyssey. And just with the clarity of the screen, it feels to be fairly easy on the eyes. I'm sure they're different. It'll be different from uh, person to person. You can work and uh, be fine as far as working. You uh, can see your controls as far as uh, your design programs, fine. Uh, you can see right there, uh, the, my setup basically that I use is I have the keyboard on my left hand, and then I have a mixed reality uh, controller in my other hand. The accuracy is very good. Pretty much it, it works as you do have to glance at your hands from time to time. The inside outside tracking of the 
Windows Mixed Reality headset, which allows your headset to track what's going on. It also tracks your controller. So you kind of have to look at your controller from time to time. However, a lot of times, as you can kind of see right there, my, my hand, my uh, controller isn't in view. They still work fairly well. Eventually they will start to go off. And that's from, uh, you know, not glancing at them. So basically what I was doing here was I was taking uh, a picture of my wife. I had found some uh, nice, you know, fantasy piece right there. And I said, hey, let me see what it's like to remove the background from our picture and then put us in this uh, fantasy backdrop and do this all in VR. So you can see I have the window right there where I am using that window that is a, a view to the quote-unquote real world to uh, basically just help me line up my hand. I actually saw recently somebody, a company said they were working on a uh, keyboard. I think it was for the Oculus or the Vive, where uh, I think it was for the Vive where you could actually see the keyboard board inside of VR. That actually would be a help. However, for right now, this does tend to work very well, which you see right there, which is, again, it's a cell phone aimed at the keyboard uh, using an app called IP cam where it's just beaming, you know, the real world to VR. Uh, you also can use this if you feel uh, nervous about who's around you. You can take a, you know, if you have uh, older cell phones, you can uh, put IP cam on them, aim them to the back, aim them wherever you want, and you can open up as many windows as you want, basically showing that IP cam. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to just show here again, and, and again, which is very, very much like Photoshop, uh, open source version of Photoshop that you can actually do work in here. And it, it's funny, uh, just my thoughts on art. You know, if you are a digital artist, you probably know that once you get into your work, in a, in a sense, the regular world kind of goes away. And that happens here as well. Except when I look behind me, I'm in VR, uh, which is very cool. So Basically, what's going on now is I wanted to show you because you have access to Windows 10. Some people were, were saying online, uh, one article I, I had read, oh, Windows 10 is not that big of a deal that you have Windows 10. Uh, Microsoft thinks this is a big deal. It is a big deal. And this is one of the reasons why. So these are my thoughts on uh, Windows VR, particularly using the Samsung Odyssey headset. I just wanted to, get to to make this video to show people some of what I don't think people had talked about too much yet. And I hope that this video lets people see some of the, some of the power of the Windows mixed reality uh, experience that Windows has set up for us. The ability to work in VR is amazing. Thank you guys for listening to me. Come check out my channel. I hope that when you get the chance to try out Windows mixed reality VR, you would try it out and give it a shot. Thank you.